So hello everybody, how are you today? It is Power Week, which means that the Power BI team has released a new Power BI desktop update. This time it is April 2019 and we are going to review everything in this channel. So we are going to start with the new reporting features in just a second. Stay tuned. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the new update? First of all, falter pane improvements. Here's the thing, when I was trying to, you know, go into the improvements to do this video, I, I just couldn't find before to activate the falter pane. You could just go in here, falter, options and settings, options, and come on. My Power BI version is very slow today, so bear with me. So report settings, and here you have the filter experience. Now you have to go first to preview features and click on new filter experience in order for you to be able to then go to report settings, which is crazy. And here, enable the pain. Not happy about that. It is just too hidden for being such a great feature. Okay. So this one, and then we're going to put that one too, and I'll show you in a second what that does. So click OK, and our filter pane shows. But not only our filter pane shows, the old filter experience is gone. Yay! You have no idea how happy I am for that. That was one of the, my biggest and greatest complaints about reports in Power BI, because for me, to have it hidden, the filters in here, they were so... I don't know, they were so hidden that you you never knew. If you're new to Power BI, you don't know what is being filtered by what. Now there is a huge filter pane where you can just go there and see what's going on. So I thought that was fantastic. So what it means basically is that now, if you want to filter anything, you don't have anything in here to filter, so you have to go to the filter pane and filter there. So let's say we want to filter, um, this is on this page, on all pages, and then you can do uh, 1998 and then it's filter everything. You couldn't do that before. Before you have to use the old for the pane and this was just for you know visualization purposes. Not anymore. So happy, so happy. That is great. You can change the name of these. You can um, uh, change the formatting and there is actually they've given us the JSON code for the uh, uh, for the custom thing in case you want to do it so I'm not going to spend time changing the colors on the filter pane I think it looks gorgeous the way it is and there are other more important things to do but if you have the time go ahead go wild and do it on the custom theme not, not in here it would be crazy so you can rename things um, what else do we have? We have tons of things. Yes, you know, it, um, it is responsive, so it changes with the, the, the size of the screen, which is fantastic. And uh, then you have the ability to, you know, this basic filtering and advanced filtering, you can set it so your users cannot use that. They can only use basic filtering. And you do that by what we set up before, which it was, it's a bit slow, I'm sorry. So this one, allow, allow users to change filter types is this one. So when you turn it on, they will be able to go from basic filtering to advanced filtering. Why is that important? I don't know, I'm guessing that some big customer complain about that. So no idea, or maybe it's an IDS thing. Uh, for me, it makes no difference. And then there is <coughs> improved filter pane accessibility. So with commands, you can actually access the filter pane and do stuff. Um, next one. So this is for the filter pane. The next one, it is um, dynamic titles. And this is another thing that, here's the thing. You have to create a dynamic title 
for every visual that you want to have it. It doesn't generate automatically, which for me is a bit weird because it should it should it should be possible to generate automatically. Instead of me doing manually, you know, you do it in the same way. So why can't just Power BI do it? Hopefully in future versions. But for now we have to do it manually. So first of all, let me show you how to do it. We have here says by week, and then here we have a product. So if I click on a product, this will you know change the sales for that product. So what we want to do is to have a title that says sales by week for product. Reclaim. But good French. Okay, so how do we do it? We go in here, you have to do it with DAX. And uh, come on. So we put title sales, and then we go um, sales by week or and then you put selected value selected value and then you put product name and now to change it you select the visual that you want to have this dynamic title you go in here you go to title and very, very, very secretful. You have to click on these three dots that appear magically. Not the best user interface, to be honest. Either way, conditional formatting, you click on that. And then here you have to pick the measure that you just created. So we go to order details and we should have a title sales here. So now you see that it changed. So if I click on here, it says sales week for Recla or peers or whatever, you know, you have all, all types of stuff in here. And this updates very, very well. Now, what happens if I don't click anything? It says for it. So that means that you have to go here. Title, where are you, my friend? And then you start to put this thing in place. So it says, if is filtered. So you have to do, you know, like a dynamic title. So I've shown you before how to do that. Product name. Get, get out of the way. So if, it, if product name has been filtered, somebody click on it, show that title. Otherwise show this title by week for all products. So you see, now that I have no product selected, it says sales week for all products. If I click on one, it says for that specific product. Now, what happens if I click on category name? It says all products, but it's filtered by a category. You follow me? Then the title is not correct. So now you have to go here to the title and then say, if uh, categories, is filter and product is filter then this title or that title or that do you see your titles growing massively here's my recommendation i would let it be don't put a big title here up here that says sales for whatever and don't don't bother again you have a lot of things to do on a Power BI report, like modeling, like branding, like custom themes. I wouldn't bother. I'm sorry. I, I just think it's too much work to actually make it a good experience. And the DAX, the amount of DAX, the amount of maintenance that you have to do, what happens if somebody removes the category name and puts something else, then suddenly your title will break. I just wouldn't do it. but. It's up to you. It is there, go for it. And then if you say, oh, I don't want that, you go here. No, you go to here. And then you revert to the fault. So you remove the, the actual, oh, it deletes. 
So you remove the dynamic title and you get the uh, specific one. Stick to that, my opinion. The next one is that uh, we have uh, buttons that can go through a web URL. So now what you can do is also have a conditional formatting to them. So you can add parameters. So it would go through, let's say that you have a help page for here. And you know, if you click on, or if it, I don't know, but if you will, you will filter on a parameter and you want to just have a hub for that specific place, you could go to a web page that is just for that specific page because that filter is sent to there. Um, how about I do a separate video on that because there are other user cases that are more interesting and I would like to do a little bit more deep dive on that. So those are all the four Matin um, features. Basically, so we have the new filter pane, which I think is fantastic. Make sure that you just enable it and forget about the old one. And the dynamic titles that I would use with care. So with that said, next video is going to be about the analytics feature. And this is my favorite, 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 favorite of the entire April update. So in the next video, until then, take care and bye bye. So hello there, do you know that I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday and Fridays? So make sure you hit the subscriber button and the bell to receive notifications every time I do that.